in this video i'll show you how to extract reviews from amazon we will be using python programming language to get this job done we'll use beautiful soup we will be using request package from python we'll also be using random which is a built-in package in python programming language and we'll be using soaks which is a proxy service capable of providing over 8 million ip addresses which is great we'll be using all these ip addresses to hit amazon.com in order to extract reviews out of amazon if you're confused already don't be because i'm going to take you to my computer screen and show you how all of this is done let's get started so guys we are back so let me open this particular folder in bs code i've created a folder for this entire thing where we are going to do the extraction of amazon reviews so let me open this folder in vs code right click shift right click by the way open with code and then i'm going to create a main.py so let me first take you to soaks.com and show you what soaks.com is all about so soaks.com is a proxy service it's an amazing service i use it all the time and it can actually help you extract out reviews because it can give you anonymous proxies out of the box and they have eight 0.5 million active IP addresses which is amazing let me take you to my account if you haven't already created an account on soaps.com you'll have to first create an account and then you'll have to copy your account this is my account so what, what I'll basically do is I'll simply go to this proxy list and I'll choose login and password output format is going to be file and filter is going to be all geo and let me show you what it downloads for me so this is the file it downloads for me and i'm going to use this as a proxy how am i going to do that let me show you so the very first thing if you are starting out from scratch the very first thing you need to do is install python so this is the very basic step you will have to install python and vs code don't tell me that you don't have python and vs code installed on your machine you will have to download it okay so install python go to this website download python install vs code go to this website install vs code it's very simple you can install vs code in python just like you install a game on your computer okay so i'm going to say import requests and i'm going to say import bs4 or rather from bs4 import beautiful soup for those who are beginners and just starting out to use python let me tell you that i'm using a python extension so you can simply go to vs code and you can write python here and you will get this extension okay this is the extension which i'm using now what i'll do is i'll simply import uh what else uh i don't know yeah pandas as pd okay i don't think we need any more packages uh even if we install any more packages uh i'll let you know okay so you can say pip install bs4 and pandas and these two packages will be installed for me both of these packages are already installed so i need not install them again and again okay so let me now import random as well and i'll tell you why we are importing random now since we are extracting amazon reviews i'll simply create a list i'll say review list is equal to a blank list okay so this is a blank list which i'm creating and i will be appending all the reviews inside of this list okay now let me write a function to get a random proxy and what what is random proxy in fact what even is a proxy i'm going to tell you just give me a moment so i'll tell you how to use soaks proxy let me specifically mention how using soaks proxy why use soaks proxy first of all because you can get unlimited ip addresses you don't have to hit amazon using a single ip address you need multiple ip addresses if you want to extract all the reviews out of amazon and if you want to extract reviews even in bulk you'll have to keep changing your ip address and hit amazon so i hope that it is clear why we are going to use a proxy in this project now let me show you how to actually use a proxy so we are going to use a request package uh and i'm going to create a proxy like this okay so this is simply uh additionally wherein we have http and https will be telling python requests that hey for http use this proxy for https use this proxy okay now if i want to directly use proxy i can simply say something like this let me copy paste why am i even typing i don't even need to type so we can say something like this http and we can copy paste this one and same for https so i can do the same thing with https as well okay but soaks has ports from 9000 to i guess 9000 uh, i don't even remember so uh 
just a moment let me check so it has ports from 9000 to 9050 or something i don't even know uh, so port number you can change port number i guess up till 9300 9299 so from 9000 to 9299 you can keep changing your ports so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use an f string here and let me copy this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that, hey, just add and I'm going to do the same thing here as well. So let me use multi cursor functionality of VS Code and for you to see what am I typing, I want to toggle the screencast mode. So I'll use random dot randint and we are going to generate a random integer from 0 to 299. Okay, so this is a random integer which I'm going to generate. Now, in order to test this proxy and see what kind of um, IP address we are having, like what is the IP address that we are uh, hitting the request with, let me tell you how to do that. So Soax gives a checker. So there's a link which you can hit and they will tell you what is your IP address and country and city, etc, etc. So I'll simply say RESP is equal to requests, request dot get and the URL is I guess HTTPS, uh, HTTP checker dot soaks dot com slash api slash ip info and not to forget you have to say proxies is equal to proxy okay now i'll simply print resp dot text okay resp dot text and let me run this and the moment i run this nothing happens because i have not called the function okay so you need to call the function okay and also let me put this review list here okay so if i run it again why is it not printing ha huh. so this is status true reason is something data is something so city is karachi in this case and city is novokubansk i don't even know how to pronounce this so let me run it again and we'll see some other city and country and this is how proxy is going to help us okay so now coming back to extracting reviews we will need to extract reviews from here let me show you where from here okay so since i need to extract reviews from here i will have to first take a product page okay so in order to take a product page i can simply take user input but in this case i'm going to hard code that okay so let me hard code that uh, i'll simply say uh, a is equal to or let me even write it properly product url is equal to so this is going to be our product url okay and let me remove this uh, this thing okay so if i click this url let me see if we are being taken to this page yes we are now in order to generate the review url uh, this url from this let me remove slash ref from here as well so if i want to generate this url from this url all i need to do is replace dp with product reviews very very simple you can see i just need to replace dp with product reviews okay so let me do that i'll come here i'll say review url let me let me zoom in a bit because review url is equal to and in order to generate review url from product url i'll simply say product url dot replace i want to replace a dp with with what let me check with product reviews okay so let me copy this and let me paste this here okay so we have simply replaced dp with product reviews okay now what we'll do is we'll also append the page number now you'll ask what is page number why are we even interested in appending the page number uh, i'll simply click on next page and you'll see that the page number is coming in the url as a get parameter so we'll have to add this parameter in order to mention the page and in order to navigate to the next page so i'll simply say page number is equal to and this is going to be an f string for us and i'll simply say pg pg is the page number okay now i'll also say pg is equal to one because uh, initially pg is going to be one okay 
Now I also need total number of pages. Okay, I am I'm going to deal with that later. But let me tell you, we need the total number of pages so that we can know how long to navigate. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply run a for loop and I'm going to extract reviews for every page. But in order to extract reviews for every page, I'll have to extract reviews for a single page. Okay, so let me write an extract reviews function and extract reviews function is going to take a review URL url and it is going to take the page number okay why am i giving it a page number you'll know okay so i'll simply say pg you don't even have to give the page number but i'm just taking it there so that i can uh, have a better idea of what i'm doing okay so i'll say def this thing and i'm going to create a function here okay so now we have the review url we have the page number now we need to extract the reviews out of this page okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply say resp is equal to request dot get request URL. Okay, Re review URL, sorry, review URL. And also proxies is equal to get random proxy. Okay, this is a function. Now inside of this function, we were actually printing this. Okay, but I don't want to do this. I want to actually return this. Okay, I want to return this proxy. I'm not interested in checking the IP address. Okay, I don't want this. I simply uh, am interested in getting a random proxy, which I've already got. Okay, the response is this. I want response.txt and I want to create a soup out of it. So inside of beautiful soup, you need to mention the text, textual form of the HTML, which I'm going to get like this, resp.text text. And I am going to mention that this is an HTML and I want to parse this HTML using HTML.parser. Okay. So this will parse this text as an HTML. Okay. I hope this is clear for all of you. Also, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extract all the reviews, not just one review, all the reviews on the page. So we got the page, we got the page data, we created soup out of the page data but I am not interested in creating just the soup. I want the reviews as well. So inside of one page in Amazon, you can count there are 10 reviews. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here we have just five reviews. No worries. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if I go to the previous page, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So maximum 10 reviews are there. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me do one thing. I'll come back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, reviews is equal to soup dot find all. And I'm going to say, find all the elements, which are div where data hook is review. Now, how do I know this? I'll show you how do I know this. Okay, so where data hook is the review. If I take you to an Amazon review and I click inspect, you'll simply see that data hook is review for a review. Okay, so let me go further up, further up, further up, further up. Okay, so data hook is equal to review. So for a review, the data hook is a review. So this is a very good target for me to target the review. Okay, so if I mention data hook is equal to review, I'm going to get 10 devs and all these 10 devs are going to be reviews. Okay, now I want to extract text out of these reviews. So in order to do that, I'll simply say for item and reviews. Okay, and for all the items, I'm going to generate a review dictionary. Now inside of my review dictionary, I'll have product title. Product title is something I'm interested in and I can get the product title by saying soup.title.text.replace. Why am I replacing? I'll show you. If I go to view page source and I show you the title, you can see that there is this text written just before the product name. I need to remove this text. Let me zoom it for you. So this is the uh, review page. Sorry, title of the page, not review page. Uh, let me reset it coming back i'll simply say replace this with nothing i want to replace this with nothing i don't want anything in place of this just remove this okay this is my title okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say 
review title so this was a product title and let me mention it like this why am i even using the camel case i need not use the camel case so i replace this with product title review title now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say item dot find i'm going to find all the a's where data hook is review title okay and the process of finding this particular thing is always going to be the same so here data hook is review title how do i know this because i have actually inspected this element wait let me show you which element this element okay and this is the review title let me show you where is review title data hook is review title here okay so this is the review title now i'll place a comma here let me zoom out and show you what we are doing the third thing that i am interested in is rating okay i'll say rating r a t i n g this is the rating and i want to say item dot find find all i's where data hook is review star rating and this can be verified by going to the site okay if you go to this uh, particular stars if you click inspect you'll see review star rating is the data hook for this and the element is i so you can extract like this this is how i have extracted okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to extract the review body okay review body now review body is a span and the data hook is review body i guess but i'm going to double check i'm going to double check uh, i'm going to double check the data hook for uh, for review body yes it's a span and the data hook is review body so this is how i'm extracting the review body out of this okay now we have the review title we have rating we have review body you can even have the review date if you want okay so the data hook for review date is review dash date if i'm not wrong you can even have the date okay so you can say review date okay just to better analyze which review was uh, written on which date okay so review date i need to oops review date yes so for review body we have review body review star rating review title and product title for this we just replace the title of the soup note that we are not using item dot title because this is the title of the page the very page which we have extracted um, from the review url okay the page that we got after visiting the review url okay now all i need to do is uh, append this to review list i'll simply say review list dot append review append this review to the review list okay so this should extract page number one for me let me see if it's even extracting page number one for me and at the end what i'm going to do is i'm going to say df is equal to pd dot data frame data frame and review list okay so i'm going to create a data frame out of uh, review list and i'm going to say uh, df dot um, to excel output.xlsx index is equal to false okay let me run this program now so this should extract the reviews out of the first page and this should create a file called output.xlsx and i should be able to see all the uh, all the output uh, wait i made some mistake here so here i'm getting the uh, I'm getting the element, but I'm not getting the text out of that element. So what I need to do is I, I should not say just item dot find and data hook is equal to this. I should even do dot text text because I want to extract the text out of it. Okay. And it would be better if I even do strip because if there are any spaces after or before that particular uh, text, they will be stripped. Let's wait for it to finish and let's see if we are on the right track so output dot xlsx it just finished running let me open this and see and there is nothing what's wrong here let me check what's wrong here let me run it once again i don't know what's wrong did i select a text and run it no uh i'm not sure what's happening i simply said item dot find this then dot text dot strip let's see if there is any output Oh yes we have 10 uh, reviews so review title is anyway uh, star ratings out of five are this and if you just want the rating you can simply say dot split out and you can simply take 3.0 4.0 5.0 out of this entire string okay so this is also possible 
but reviewed in India on this date, this date, this date. Okay, so you you can you can always strip the text out. Okay, if you want to strip off this particular text, you know what to do. Simply remove this text. Okay. So we have 10 reviews, but we are not interested in just 10 reviews. We are interested in even more reviews. Okay. So how do we do that? Let me show you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to uh, find out the total pages. So I'll simply write a function to, to find total pages. Okay. For a product. Okay. Sorry. This is going to be review URL. So you need to give me the review URL and after you give me the review URL, I will be finding the total number of pages uh, inside that review URL. Okay, so let me do resp is equal to request dot get review URL and the proxies is going to be get random proxy. Okay, and this is a function of course. Now what I'll do is I'll simply say soup is equal to beautiful soup and resp.text html.parser this is something that we've already discussed now reviews is equal to i'll simply say soup.find div which div do i need to find where data hook is something i don't know what okay i'm going to find out so what am i interested in let me tell you i'm interested in this number 15 with reviews i'm interested in this number and I can get this number from data hook is this. Okay, I can get this number from here. So I'll simply say data hook should be data hook should be this. Okay, and the moment I do this, I can actually extract uh, the text out of this. So I'll simply say return integer of because at the end of the day, I need to convert this to integer reviews dot and text dot strip so that I can strip off these spaces which are um, which are there okay on the left turn and on the right of this text and once i strip the text out i'll simply say split and i will split with comma space the moment i split with comma space i get a list with two elements one is this and one is this i'm interested in the second element that is index one so i'll say one okay i'll say one and i hope i'm doing this right one and then i'll say dot split once again and what should i split with this time i'll split with a space and i'll take the first element so if i split this the selected text with a space i'll get this 15 this is the number and what is going to be the number of pages the number of pages is going to be um, this divided by 10 okay and plus one i'll also plus i'll also do plus one because this entire number plus one or rather i'll say one plus this integer okay one plus this integer because let us say the number of reviews are 15 we have 10 per pages uh, 10 reviews per page the number of pages should be two okay so 15 divided by 10 15 so if i show you the REPL, let me show you python and if i say uh, 15 divided by 10 10 this is going to give me one so i need to add another one because there will be two pages in that case okay let me exit this having said that what i'll do is i'll simply find out number of pages so i'll say pages is equal to or let me say n pages is equal to uh, total pages review url okay this is the review url and the moment I get the total number of pages, I will run a for loop. And inside of the for loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply um, I'm going to simply generate this review URL. Okay, I'm going to simply generate this review. Let me copy this review URL once again. So I'll say for I in range and n pages. I'll simply say page number is equal to uh, I plus one. Okay, so this is going to be I plus one. Page number is going to be I plus one because index starts from zero. Okay, and what I'm going to do again is run this extract pages. Okay, oops, press the wrong key. Sorry about that. So product URL is this, review URL is this, and we have. Uh, I hope I'm going in the right direction. So I ran the review URL is equal to something extract reviews this 
and also I want to put it inside of try catch because in case my request fails for one URL, I don't want my entire data to be, you know, wasted. Accept exception as E and I'll simply print E and let me make it capital E. Okay. Now let me delete this output.xlsx file. So I've deleted the output.xlsx file and I'm going to run this program. Let me see if I have made any mistake or this is going to run properly. I don't know. So it just ran for all the pages. Let me see if it extracted all the reviews. So we just have 10 reviews. Why? Uh, so let me find out values for different so i'll simply print so i'll say running for these many pages and i'll put n pages here and i'll say control t and i'll say running for page i okay let me remove this and let me let me say plus one okay let me run this so it's running for two pages, running for page number one and it's running for page number two and done. Okay. Let's see if it's able to extract all the reviews or not. So yeah, it, it actually extracted all the reviews. If you see the count, uh, the count of these rows is 15. So it extracted 15 reviews. Amazing. Great. So this is how you extract reviews from Amazon. And I hope that you were able to, you know, find out how to extract reviews from Amazon. But let me improve this program even bit further. We don't need this. We don't need PG. All we need is product URL at one place. Let me now do one thing. Let me say product URL is equal to input. Okay. I'm going to select all this. I'll say input. enter product URL. Okay. Let me run this program. And what I'm going to do is simply enter product URL for some other product. Okay. Let me find some other product on Amazon. Let's do for this one. Okay. So I'll simply copy this URL and I'll paste it here. Let me close output at XLSX because if I don't close it, I'm going to get an error and I'll press enter. So there are, uh, okay. So it says PG is not defined. What's wrong? Uh, okay, so PG, this should be I plus one. I don't even know why I've given this PG here. I, we don't need it. We don't need it. But again, let me run the program again. Paste the URL and how many pages are there? It says only one page for reviews. Let me check if this is true. So there are only 20 ratings. So that's fine. Okay, let me open some popular product so that we have a lot of reviews for that product and we can text test. Okay. So let me open output.xlsx. This is great. Okay. So there are only three reviews with, um, with review body. So it extracted all these. Okay. Round hole in the fabric got entirely different color to after two washes, the t-shirt is shrunk. Okay. Let me, let me remove this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. I'm going to run the program first and then punch in this URL. And this has quite a lot of ratings. Let me check how many. 13,000 ratings. So I'll scroll down and I'll say view, see all reviews. Okay. So we are running into this error because there is a comma in this number and we need to remove all the commas from all the numbers. Okay. So I need to write another line here to remove this comma. Okay. So this is getting interesting now. Uh, let me remove the comma after I take this te text. Okay. So I'm going to say int of this, no int of not this. I'm going to say dot replace the comma with a blank. Okay. Now let me run it again and let me see if it's running two, five, eight, six, two, five, nine pages. So there are two, five, nine pages. In fact, one plus two, five, nine pages. Okay. So, uh, it says the total running for two, five, nine pages. Okay. So we are running for page number eight, page number nine. So there are a lot of pages. So 
this is going to be a huge file but what i'm going to do is in order to make you understand how all this works i'm going to leave it and i'm going to come back when it finishes so finally it has gotten completed and let me show you the output.xlsx there are a lot of reviews let me see how many of these there are 2171 reviews and it indeed missed some of the reviews so as part of uh, homework what you can do is you can wrap this particular thing inside of a retry loop so the moment something fails you're going to retry it okay and you need to keep retrying it for at least say 10 20 times and once you have got uh, the reviews out of that page then you should be good to go but again this is amazing we had around 2200 and something reviews i don't remember but we have got almost all of those okay this is a lot of data and amazon is not going to give you all this data and soaks is a very nice easy and sweet way to extract this data out of amazon try it out for other products make some changes make some tweaks try it out for other website soaks is amazing you can extract a lot of data from a lot of websites thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time